Howdy folks, so some time ago I posted uh, a little meme on the forums uh, about playing with a person whose deck level is 9. Now you look at these upgrade 3 north guards, his deck level is 9, and you tell me how many more upgrades he has. Um, second thing is that he immediately comes here to take these wells, and he's not even taking them immediately. Uh, so, what's going on here? So yeah, so right now I wanted to quit because <laughs> I'm fighting in the center with nothing and my partner takes two wells right here and upgrade nine with north guards. So I figured this guy's a complete noob and uh, playing this game is probably just uh, a ways, but I figured, okay, I won't quit yet. Um, maybe my partner has, okay, and he takes a wall. <laughs> I was like, maybe he's, uh, he's He's just joined and he only has north guards, uh, but he's got a really good tier three or something. And maybe my partner's not uh, worthless. Um, but yeah, I wanted to quit. Um, I'm being attacked here and I didn't quit. And so I'm glad I didn't quit. Uh, and my partner, uh, we'll call him Blue. Uh, Blue is attacking um, yellow. Now yellow is playing thugs instead of scavengers uh, for some weird reason and he's um, somebody has life weaving who has life weaving oh I put life weaving on the light blade because light blades good and I wanted it to live and I figured okay here we go here's a chance we'll try and make an attack um, I could get erupted here but I guess yellow is also not that good yellow's deck was uh, much higher than blue's deck though uh, Lagna comes in with three dread chargers which is a bit of an unusual choice um, that eruption was in the north guards, which actually don't do much because north guards have absurd health. And actually, we managed to get this well down. So now I'm thinking, okay, so maybe there's a there's something to this. Yeah. So I guess uh, all those guys' upgrades were the light blade and the north guards. Maybe he doesn't have charge on the north guards. Uh, so maybe his upgrades are like more than just the the north guards. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, my partner's army is dead. Uh, Flagnog has a couple, um, that, that was a questionable nasty. Um, I could run in here in nasty and probably kill three or four of Flagnog's units. I'm trying to burst down this well though. Um, Flagnog and Yellow have both taken an extra well here. Uh, my partner's sitting at two walls and I'm still at the wall here. Uh, I, it's close, but I think I'm going to make it. Maybe. Um, if he erupts my Forsaken, yeah, I wanted to pull them out so I could make another Forsaken so he can't just erupt it. And there we go. And now these motivated Forsaken might actually be able to pick off uh, a couple of those Dread Chargers. There we got two. Already get, I spawned another one just to get this third guy down. There we go, I got the third guy. I didn't even need to spawn these guys. Uh, so I should just run away with them and maybe build a second well or go tier two. So actually, yeah, uh, he erupted. Uh, that was yellow. That was a bad eruption. Uh, 75 power for a 50 power unit. Um, yeah, and now my partner Blue has made a huge army, and I'm like, okay, well, if he's gonna make a huge army, let's go attack Red. Uh, his army is not following me, so yeah, but um, Flagnog puts his guys, he can't decide if he's going on the wall, maybe he misclicked somewhere. Um, I'm not really sure where this blue army is going, but uh. Okay, I figured he's got the wall, so I, if he's going to leave it open, I can run with my Dread Charger and maybe attack this spot too. Uh, could also, I've noticed the yellow is not that good, so um, maybe, maybe even, so, okay, uh, blue goes tier two. Yeah, so I figured I'll click on yellow because um, if he's the weaker of my opponents, um, yeah, okay, so this attack doesn't survive, this, this attack fails. Uh, but I've got an attack going here. I frenzied these guys. Uh, that was actually no. That's probably good to focus the dredger uh, to kill it before he can come in nasty. And then when I kill it, that'll remove Flagnog's ground presence. So now it's just yellow, and I'm going to be able to get this well down too. And blue spawns two northern keeps, uh, so that can be erupted uh, up until it gets 600 health. It can be erupted. Uh, but I've got yellow occupied here. Looks like he erupted here, which didn't do much. Um, and also, okay, the, oh, the eruption was late. 
Um, blue could focus fire a little better. If he had been focusing fire, then uh, perhaps one of those wells would have dropped already. I'm moving my units to come in and go here. And I figure I need to play pretty aggressively because uh, who knows what's in my opponent's deck. Um, maybe he's only got a couple cards. Uh, but actually, yeah, my opponent's, or my partner, my partner's um, his attack here succeeded again. So we are not doing bad at all. Um, I'm uh, just a little bit worried about the late game now at this point. Um, uh, by the way, if you, okay, he put the juice tank and that's another like, Really questionable move. Oh, I had a lot of power, so I figured I'd go in with two, uh, uh, two Shadow Phoenix, so it didn't kill anything, and then I realized that was kind of just a waste of time. I needed to wait till my army arrives. Um, now, Blues has managed to uh, take this. He's got his own will, and yeah, so this is a nice position. Um, I killed those Scythians. Is that enough to revive my Phoenix? It's not. But Phoenix did good, good, good damage. Um, there's a wildfire, but man, Frost units have so much health. The wildfire just, they can just chill there for, for a significant amount of time. Um, I could frenzy this guy. There we go. Um, there's an R of Corruption to protect. This might be a little bit too late. Um, I think if I had not switched targets, this would have dropped. Oh, my units are outside of the R of Corruption. Okay. Uh, lava fielded, but they're not lava fielded into the R of Corruption. So this is still a strong attack. Um, the wildfire will save him though. But I've got so much power, I could make some phoenixes. Uh, but actually, probably I should make the phoenixes here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and because he's got three wells here. So I can just, uh, four phoenixes will kill the well. Um, and I can just... Uh, There we go. This one survives, but I was able to take out two wells before phoenixes, so that's a uh, pretty good trade. Um, now, I, if I had gone tier 3, that would have probably been a better use for my power than just bombing with phoenixes. If I nasty this... Oh, I just... okay. Uh, okay. I should have nasty instead of doing that, but I was greedy, I guess. Um, the Shadow Phoenix came in to do something before I realized he Cobalt tricked it. Um, there's a Rallying Banner a little bit far away. And Flagnog nastied something, I think. But, uh, it's still all good here. Um, I need to get a spot to go tier 3. I think I've got enough power flow. I mean, actually, there's only two wells extra. No, it's four wells extra. But yeah, so I wanted to pressure Flagnog. Um, and stop him from going tier 3. I'm not sure why my partner pinged me for this attack. Because, uh, oh, Church of Negation. Okay. Um, so Vlagnog did get to go tier 3. Uh, and, okay, I figured I can come here. Uh, Adhorn, Blue's, Blue's, uh, Got a bunch of dead units on the field, so these phoenixes will definitely revive. And as we said, it'll take four phoenixes to drop a well, so this well will probably drop. Okay, maybe it won't drop. Um, but if these guys die, maybe it will. Oh, my phoenix doesn't even revive. Okay. This is not uh, looking so great, unless I can get tier three. So yellow's got this tier three spot here. Um, he's also got this, uh, 110 power bound right here he's not doing anything with. I need to keep up the pressure. Um, Flagnog could nasty here. That was a really good oink to prevent the nasty from coming. So I really can't tell if Blue is like a noob or not. Because uh, he's building this wall, he's got these juice tanks. Um, yeah. He's playing uh, more North Guards because I guess that's what he has charges for. Um, so at this point, I think his, his uh, problem is charges. And, 
This nasty will probably kill my Phoenix, so I life or I yeah, I life open it. Um, I can't decide what I wanna hit. I think I wanna hit the well on splash. And um I am going tier three. Meanwhile my nightcrawlers are coming in because we really want to pressure this base here. I didn't kill the server ones. I can never tell whether my Phoenix is going to revive or not. I'm so bad at predicting that. This cannon tower is good. Uh, I'm curious why he played Northern Keeps earlier when he could have been playing cannon towers. Um, this eruption here, I guess, for my Nightcrawlers. And I'm tier 3, so I'm sure I'm launching an attack this way. Uh, they've got the walls though, but here's a Grigori. And um, yeah, because I don't have any ground presence in the center because my partner took both of these walls. Uh, which I guess in the future you should probably avoid taking both of these so that your partner can have one. Uh, because it's hard for me to attack and defend since I can't build anything here. But uh, my partner got the cannon tower up. He's, the RF corruption was still active so he killed his own unit when he did that. And my Grigori is now coming for the orb. There's a Scaffard Drake, uh, two Scaffard Drakes. So at this point, actually nasty my Grigori would be cost effective um, based on the damage I would do and killing the uh, Scaffard Drakes. I haven't life open. I figured, I guess I figured I would just ignore this Grigori and attack somewhere else, uh, like here. Yeah. So I'm spawning a bunch of Civil Winds because I know he can't R because the R is over here. I should have spawned uh, some Tremors instead of Silver Winds. I'm not sure really what the point of having all the Silver Winds was. Uh, the Cannon Towers are up and Vlagnox still trying to kill them. Okay, there we go. Now my Silver Winds will do something else. I could drop a Tremor or another Grigori down here. I can also Nasty these. Once the Monument is below 1000 health, you can Nasty it. Yellow is coming to attack me here. I've got tons of power at this point. I should be doing something with it besides just uh, just letting it accumulate. There's a silver wind. Um, there's my silver wind here. Now I've got a spot in the center. I can launch attacks a little more effectively. Flagnog has quit. And yellow should quit pretty soon. Um, by the way, just for the people who don't quit, uh, there's not really anything to be gained by not quitting. I guess some people think that they like won't get their quest if they quit or something, but um, yeah, I mean, if the game's over, you might as well quit, um, especially if your partner's already left. So yeah, that was the game. Thanks for watching. Um, there's just a little moral here that maybe your partner, uh, maybe have chances, even if your partner is uh, clearly lacking some cards in his deck. Um, so, there's that. And actually, uh, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, I've got maybe two or three or four replays which were really nice comebacks from, you know, where I thought I would lose and I figured, okay, I won't quit, and then I had a comeback. And so I think, uh, I might post a series of those up too. Thanks for watching.